Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. I just thought together, uh, uh, this morning I put together a quick video on uh, candlesticks and how candlesticks work and a touch on candlestick patterns. So we're technical traders and the main thing that builds up technical analysis is candlesticks, okay? Um, candlesticks are the bread and butter of what we look at and you can trade candlesticks alone and they tell us pretty much everything we need to know. There's always a fancy indicator for everything. However, your your bread and butter and where all that data is pulled from is candlesticks. So what is a candlestick? Candlestick is, is basically what price is. It, it gives you an idea of how price is moving. Now, candlesticks can be attributed to different time frames. So from one minute to one month, every time frame has a candlestick for it and they represent that. Now, it's usually the left is on the open and the right is the close and then you have the wicks at the top now if the if the close is higher than the open you'll see a, a green bar in this circumstance if the the close is lower than the open you get a red bar okay now candlesticks tend to tell us what's happened in that time frame of trading now for example in this time frame of trading it's an extremely bearish bar bearish means a big sell-off bar and it means that the, the sellers were in control for that hour and they pushed the market down um, this is obviously starting to form a, a bit of a bullish bar. That's why what we do is when we're managing an hourly chart, we wait for the hourly bar to close to give us the whole picture of what's happening. Now, with candlesticks, you do get different patterns, different formations and different types of candlesticks. These, for example, here are inverted hammers. They can indicate a bear trend. So it's where buyers are pushed up, but then at the end of the hour, sellers are pushed them back down to continue selling. This is a doji bar, which is indecision. It's very close to being neither buyers nor sellers were in control. So we can see throughout that we do have particular patterns building. And then when you have, say, three candles building up and then a drop, this is called a candlestick pattern. Now, we can touch more on these in future videos. This is just to give you an intro into how candlesticks build up your chart, a bit of understanding about them. Um, any questions feel free to drop in the chat and if you'd like more educational videos please let us know what kind of topics you'd like them on and we can always discuss them. I hope this helps and we'll catch up soon. Thank you.